I turned this cheap little $200 gaming PC into an epic emulation gaming console. So let's test this thing out and see how it performs. <laughs> yeah. All of the links to everything that I purchased will be linked down in the description below. What I ended up doing is I took all of the folders from that little emulation drive, brought them over to the actual PC. And the reason that I did that is because this has an NVMe in it. So you can imagine the speed and the difference. There it is. Boom. Jump on this guy. Oh, he didn't come out. I want to show you the, uh, the settings and the, the video filter. Copy this one that I had normal four times filter. And then it relaunches for you. Oh man, we had it going. Dude, I love this game. Um, Alright, so I didn't scrape the images on these ones very well. Yo, if this is a good game, the music's pretty baller. And <laughs> it's ukulele, old edition. Tell me that doesn't look like the ukulele guy. See, I don't like how it's centered though. I don't like that. Oh my God, it's literally, oh, it's Sonic ukulele. Ha! What the frick? Watch this guys. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can move it. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. Oh, dude, this is making me really mad. PS1 is going to run good. PS2 is going to run good. And we may not even need to go and get a GCU adapter for this. And we might just be able to play Nintendo Switch straight up. I need you to keep in mind, this is like this is like 100,000 games. Okay? This little computer is 200 bucks. Total, we're talking here. 300, $300. Dude, this is already upscaling stuff. Oh my god! I hate the Nintendo 64 controller so much. How do I uncrouch? <laughs> Go! Wreck him! Kill them all! Where's the other guy? <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Please tell me you guys also think. That was funny. <laughs> can I fast forward? Not rip. Oh, I can. Dude, this looks beautiful. There has to be. Because it just, I don't know, man. It doesn't look blurry. It's, this is a 1080p monitor. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I can't believe this, dude. There's no way. Um. Let's just go. Let's go upscale 1.5. I don't think it's doing anything. All right, so let's go normal four times. This is what we had on the Super Nintendo. Oh, that I can tell a difference with. So let's try this. Let's just keep going through them until we find one. The only one that I'm seeing a difference with is this one, the normal. So anyways, Nintendo 64 is running good. I don't think it's using, I don't think it's using filters. And I am going to show you really quickly. Those filters are, all right, we're starting to get the overheating. I mean, we're still, I'm hoping pretty good with timing. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this, like watch this. Or if I come here and dot matrix, you guys are gonna start grade. You guys are gonna notice a huge difference here. So like a, whatever, it's like nasty looking lines there. But I just an EPX filter here. Actually, this looks pretty good. I 
really just like the normal pixel upscaler, so it's not like blurry. You boys are gonna do Batman. Loves Batman. On, ooh, actually, we could do Aladdin again. Oh my gosh, Animaniacs, bro. Yo. All right. Oh, I know why. So RetroArch, I'm guessing RetroArch is applying that filter to everything. So that's why when we initially, I can't, so it was running good with filters. Right, because this is gonna have a filter on it too now, right? Yeah, okay, so that's why I wasn't seeing the difference because it already, <laughs> it already, it already had filters applied, so it applies it to all. That's cool. I actually didn't realize RetroArch did that. Oh, yo, dude. This was like my one of my favorite cartoons when I was little. Dude, I can't believe this is running as good as it is. And there's no delay. All right, how, what do I have to do? How do I get up? I'm not even gonna try to figure that out. Ha! Little Mermaid, let's play this. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. I'm gonna be playing this for a long time. Yo, please. Yeah, no, we're definitely not. Disney. Oh, my magical powers. I'm gonna superpower the fishes. Where are you, Flounder? Whoa. <laughs> all right, so every, that's all. How far, how good are we? Oh my goodness, I've been we're being recorded for 50 minutes. Oh, I thought that was South Park. Tell me that doesn't look like South Park. All right, so this is Nintendo. Dino Riki? I never heard of it. Oh my God, Gilligan's Island. Yo. What is the Mario ripoff, right? Oh, what is this? Oh my god, this looks so nice. Yo, what is this fun? This is a fun game, bro. I got a little caveman shooter guy. Oh, it's like Centipede. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool, bro. How, where are we at? So the CPU temperature is 60 Celsius. I hope you guys have been looking at this. So we got the CPU temp, the memory load, the fan speed, and then the CPU load. Let's see if it has the one, who it has those, so definitely. Right, let's see if it has the one that everybody I know wants to see if it was on that drive. Well, it has those. There you go. And then it also has, yep, it has them. There's no way it doesn't. Because if it has those, it has the other one, but I know you're all. I'm not playing them. I just, I don't feel like getting unmonetized from Nintendo. So it has it. Where is it? Come on. See, this is why I, I installed it, everything on the NVMe. All right, here we go. Does it have it? Oh my gosh, we should play that. Yeah, it has it. There you go, guys. It ha oh my god, it has that too. Noikies! Shaggy! Oh my god, I want to watch Scooby Doo now. <laughs> you could literally have a hundred thousand games. At, so I want to make it clear: these games right here are not the only. So it has Neo Geo as well, which if it, it, Neo Geo is running. And then also has the Game Boy Advance, but I want to show you guys all the other consoles that I didn't import into LaunchBox. So it has Nintendo 64, Atari 26, Atari 78, Commodore, GameCube. So I want to show you guys something very, very, very cool. For the full actual computer review, we will be going over like some stuff that this thing has. So this, if you, actually this is the NVMe right here and then this is the memory. So if you ever wanted to swap out this NVMe, you see a little green blinking light, that's the NVMe working right now. It's a 512 gigabyte Mason Semi. Um, it's a PCI 3.0 times four. So it's actually a decent NVMe. And then the RAM, 
I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.